Welcome to UITS 7 Steps in 7 Minutes for your first Okta Access Review. In Part A, we're going to uncover how to enable your Okta UITS integration. It only requires two steps and is fairly simple. In Step 1, we're going to get the API token from Okta, and then Step 2, add the Okta API token into UITS. This is required, as you can see here, in our Add API, where we were asked for three bits of information. Simply provide a name, add an Okta URL, and API key. You can see I've already named this Okta new. This name is just useful in helping you recognize the integration inside of UITest. The next step is we're going to want to grab the Okta URL. This can be found in a few places, but I'm going to take it from right here. It's important that we leave off everything after that first forward slash. So leave off the forward slash admin and dashboard. We'll enter it in here. The next step is we want to add the API key. This can be found by navigating to security, go to API. Next, we want to go to tokens. From tokens, we're going to go to create a token. Here, you're just going to want to provide a name that will help you recognize what this token's for. I'm going to name it you attest. The next step is create token. Once you've created this token, you can take it, copy it, and paste it into the API key. Then simply click save. Once you've done that, you've created your Okta integration and you're ready to start running access reviews pulling information directly from Okta. Now that we've enabled UITest and Okta integration, we're able to move on to the next steps of part B and that's the seven steps to your Okta access review. Throughout this process, I'm going to be creating an access review based around an application audit. We're going to be finding out who has access to what inside of this application. If you're following along in the document, you'll notice that there's multiple types of reviews we could perform. When going over to auto audits, you can see we have application audit, group audit, event audit, and user audit. These options will show up in the document, and you can click on their titles if you want to see a detailed video on how to execute them all. For today, I'm going to run an application audit. So right here, we're going to create a new audit, and we want to see who has access to JIRA. I'm going to select the API source. This is simply the Okta environment that we've created. Next, we're going to name this. To keep this consistent with the document, I'm just going to name it as such. Next, we'll select a due date and click Next. Once we've done that, up at the top here, we can expand this out and see all the applications that are in your Okta environment. If it's there, it'll show up here. From here, you can select every single application. You can select just one or a combination of applications. I'm just going to select one leave this blank to select every single user from this application, and leave that check for all users to show all users. I'm going to click Done here, and what's happening in the background is it's generating this. You can see it just popped up right there. So now we have this nice worksheet where we could go into and start attesting to the users. You can see we have these three users all assigned to this application. You can see role, type, profile, user manager, and so on. From here, we could perform three actions. We could certify all the users, revoke them, or delegate this out to someone to either certify and revoke the user. If I click certify and apply, it's going to show that this was reviewed by the admin and it was completed. If you'd just like to attest to one user at a time, simply just check the one user you'd like to attest to select an action, and hit apply. Although I revoked this user, this user still has access to this application at this time. Once we go back out to the main screen right here and click the gear icon to execute, then that user's access to this application will be revoked. Going back into this, 
I want this user to still have that application access. So I'm going to go here, select an action, and click Certify. So we've just given that individual their access. Now I'm going to go back out here. Everyone's attested for. The final step is actually executing the campaign. Once I click Execute, it's going to ask if I want to do this because changes will be made within Okta. Given all those users were just certified, we aren't making any changes in Okta other than just saying we saw the access, it was appropriate, and we approved it. I want to just outline delegating really quick. To delegate, simply select the drop down menu there, and we have a few options. You could enter in email addresses separated by a comma for multiple or just one reviewer. You can select what group you want to send this out just by typing in what Okta or Active Directory group. Or you could select the ability to automatically delegate this out. What this will do is it will automatically take the user's manager and delegate the user to the user manager and assign them to review it. Finally, now that we've finished this access review, what we want to do is download the report. It's fairly simple. Go to download report and just select which option you would like to see. Thank you so much for your time in watching this video on how to accomplish the seven steps to your first Okta access review. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or reference the document for our other links within it to our other videos outlining how to perform different types of access reviews. Thank you so much. Take care.